Hello, and welcome to Seasonal Job Pro, the channel that's all about seasonal jobs. Today we're talking about one winter job in particular, the lifty. So let's get to work. Many seasonal jobs are found at ski resorts across the country. In case you're new to the idea, ski resorts are fun places where people get a ride up the side of a mountain or hill and then slide back down on either one or two planks of wood. Also known as skiing or snowboarding. To get up the side of the mountain, resorts utilize mechanical rope and pulley equipment, from basic benches to fancy gondolas. These are also known as ski lifts. And to make sure people don't get hurt, fall down, break the equipment, or just plain do ski lift wrong, Resorts employ lift operators, also known as lifties. A lift operator is often one of the first people on the mountain, or one of the last to leave. They will spend most of the day helping people on and off the ski lifts, shoveling snow and ice from the areas, chit-chatting with guests, and keeping an eye out for overall tomfoolery. And that's pretty much the job. Lift operator is considered an entry-level position to work on the mountains, meaning you don't need to have any experience. They will train you. But you probably want to have at least some experience skiing or snowboarding before getting in too deep. Be sure you at least like the sport. It would get pretty awkward when every time a guest asks you, How's the powder today? And your answer is, I hate skiing. So, where are the lifty jobs? Well, pretty much anywhere the ground rises higher than the rest of the land around it, people have set up ski operations there. From big mountain ranges to smaller hills, they are all over the country. The bigger the mountain, the bigger the business. From the Rockies to the Sierra Nevada on the west, to the Appalachians on the east, particularly the northeast. So, California, Washington, Montana, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Vermont, even West Virginia and Michigan. With the bulk of the jobs being around Colorado. And if you ask them, Colorado will say it's the best anyway. The pay ranges as much as the locations as well. With some of the smaller places paying only 10 to 14 bucks an hour, while 18 to 20 dollars an hour becoming the standard, especially in Colorado. In fact, if you're not getting at least 18 dollars an hour, you may just want to shop around. Although for most lifties, getting paid is important, but it's really all about the perks. Free ski passes. If you're not working, you're playing. Free skiing is the biggest draw for many mountain workers, and with some companies, you may be on four 10-hour shifts with three days a week to play. Many companies even give free passes for your family as well, and big operators will let you ski at all of their locations for free. But if you find a company that doesn't let you ski for free, you're better off finding something else. Discounts on meals, rentals, and even retail swag is also pretty common. Though ski stuff isn't cheap either, so the discounts may be relatively insignificant anyway. Another big perk is housing. Most operations will offer housing, most likely in a building dedicated only to employees. Almost all places will charge you rent. So expect to pay, on average, in the range of $500 to $800 a month in rent. Which, on the upside, is significantly cheaper than renting your own place. But that, too, comes with potential downsides. For one, staff housing is only for staff. So if your partner doesn't work for the company, it's probably not an option. And if you are solo, you will almost definitely have a roommate or a few. Which isn't the end of the world. These people may become some of the best friends you've ever had. But it's also important to note that staff housing and lifties are infamous for being perhaps 
young, fun, and full of tequila. Let's just say there's a decent chance you find yourself on the dancing end of a continuous house party. Think college dorm building with an abundance of snow. So this may not be the ideal situation for some, especially retirees. But hey, don't hate. Retirees know how to party. They invented partying. So it's not to say that this is the situation you will definitely find yourself in. It's still important to do your research before hiring on with a company. Check sites like Glassdoor.com and read reviews from employees to see what they're saying about working there. The ski season usually begins around mid-November and lasts until spring, or until all the snow is melted. There are plenty of seasonal winter jobs out there, and lifty jobs are just one of them. So stay tuned for more great videos on seasonal jobs here on Seasonal Job Pro. If you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. Also, the thumbs up button is nice to hit. Hit that. And if you've ever worked as a lift operator or any seasonal mountain job, please let the world know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences as a seasonal job pro. Thanks for watching.